Hello guys, this time of the year, banana squash is everywhere. I am sure most of you have seen this fruit or vegetable in your grocery store and you are wondering, how do I cook this? Or how does this work for our body? Banana squash is one of the common fall winter produce. I compare it to yam, potatoes, for those of you who don't have it in your country. My name is Josie. I'm a pharmacist. Banana quash can be very intimidating products. It has a funny look and a bit scary. If you have not cooked or prepared this before, it's going to be like you don't want to cook with it. Today, in my video, I'm going to share with you the benefit of banana squash and two easy ways to cook it. These are the benefits of banana squash. It's high in many nutrients, including vitamin A, C, magnesium, potassium, and high antioxidants. It also reduces the risk of heart disease and mental decline. It is a starchy vegetable, but low in calories and packed with fiber, so it's a great choice for unhealthy weight loss plan. It has a very low calories when you compare them to yam and potatoes. Anytime I want to eat potatoes or yam, I will prefer swiping it with banana squash because it has a low calories as compared to those two it can also be added to a wide variety of food you can make it sweet or sour recipes with it you can prepare them in stews and also even in pie when you learn how to cook with it it's so easy and it tastes really good before we start let's remove the cover and the seed then i'll show you two ways to cook them Use the knife to peel the skin completely by cutting ends off. Separate the long part of squash from the big ball part. For the first method, we are going to cube and bake. Take the long part and cut them into inches thick. Then also cut them into discs of cubes. In a bowl, you can put your cubes and dissolve a little bit of olive oil, salt and pepper. You can also season them with any spices that you like, but I normally add cinnamon to it as well. Mix them together and pour your cubes on a baking sheet line with a foil. Then we're going to transfer them to the oven, preheat to 400 degrees Fahrenheit for about 30 minutes. Remove and enjoy the perfect tender bite of this squash. The best thing to do is to check if the center is tender and is good to go. The second method to cook the squash is one of the easiest way. You just add them to water and you cook them on the stove. Let's take the other part of the banana squash, the big ball part. Divide it into two and remove the seed from it. Then cut them into medium size or any size that you prefer. Then put them in a pan, wash and add water. Then we will put them in a stove and let it cook for about 20 to 30 minutes. Check it in the middle to see if it's tender. Then it's ready to be eaten with soup or stew. It really, really tastes good. The way it's soft, you can also mash them to become like a period form as well. There are a lot of options to eat better than squash. If you have any other ways, leave it in the comment below if you have never tried it before. I urge you to try it and leave it in the comment below or take a picture and share with me on my Instagram. I will really, really love it. If you enjoyed this video, hit the like button, share with your friends, subscribe if you haven't done so yet. Thanks for watching. I love you guys and God bless you. I will see you in my next video.